Customer Relationship Management, also known as CRM. We're gonna look at the best CRM plugins for WordPress. Hey everyone, this is Scott Wyden-Kivowitz. In this video, you're gonna see a quick overview, a quick walkthrough of the best CRM plugins for WordPress, for your photography website. Now, it's worth noting that yes, there are a lot of CRM systems out there for photographers that are not WordPress-based, like 17 Hats, like Sprout Studio, like HoneyBook, and Yes, they are fantastic. Yes, they all off, they all offer uh, very powerful features. But if you're like me, you like having complete control over your entire business uh, as much as possible, doing as little of uh, third-party tools as possible. What I mean by that is I'm not going to do my finances for my business in my WordPress site. I'll be doing that in QuickBooks. And that way my accountant can have access to everything and so on. However, uh, something like a CRM that can be handled on a WordPress site easily and efficiently, why not? So we're gonna go over uh, some of the best ones out there. There are six, okay? And I'm gonna go through these fairly quick because I don't want this video to be too long, but I wanna show you what is out there. And the first one is called Sprout Clients. And if, once you activate it, you can go to the Sprout apps uh, section and uh, down to Sprout Clients, and you can see that there are no options, right? <laughs> there are literally no options. It is, it's very, very, very basic. And you can see that there's a new section up here that popped up called Leads, and you can add a new lead in here, and you can put manually put in all of the, the, uh, the person's information. So you can, you can put in that say this is a client test and you can say it's a customer. You can make a status. So you can, it's all very manual, okay? Now the thing with Sprout apps is that they actually want you to upgrade to get other things like their invoicing system. So if you go back to the Sprout clients, you actually see that there's a pro version. And if we clicked over to the pro version, you'll see that there's a lot of other things that could be added for integration uh, and for other features. And so, yes, it's a very powerful CRM system for WordPress, but out of the box, it's extremely, extremely basic. You actually need to pay to get majority of the features you would actually need as, with automated CRMs, at least, uh, from this plugin. Okay, so I'm going to deactivate that one. And I'm going to do that okay and now we're going to go to yuku people i think i pronounced that right so i'm going to activate that one and now you can see there's a new contact section if i go to that you'll see it has me here already because i am a user on the site now we go to touch point and we'll be able to see what the touch points are i can add a new one and you can say a touch point contact start typing a name i'll say scott and it's me it pulled me up already and you can see that it's got me here and I can go ahead and say, I need to reach out to this person on this date uh, and schedule it and put in the details. You can add file attachments. And basically, when you can assign it to a person, to another user on the site, and basically it'll remind the person to touch, reach out for a meeting, let's say, on this date uh, at this time, for example, right? Um, now let's go to add-ons. because Oh, and let me go back to people real quick so you can see. If I add a new person, I can add a human. And again, sort of like what you saw before, you can add contact information for the person um, and, and so on. I believe you can also just add a user and that should show up just sort of how mine did right here for my account. Let's go back to add-ons and you can see you can actually buy add-ons for the plugin. So you can actually buy an add-on to send, uh, to integrate with MailChimp to integrate with Google Calendar, with Gravity Forms, so your leads through Gravity Forms could go right into the CRM. That's a beautiful thing. Um, and many things like the opportunity management, so opportunity tracking, so you get the lead, potentially going to become a sale, and and so on. So you can, you can track all that right in here. Email reminders instead of just a, a little alert reminder. 
Uh, so there's, there's a lot of add-ons that you could buy, and of course they are they do have a bundle, so you can buy a whole bunch of them for $179, and you can even get 10% off. So that's Yuku people, uh, very basic. Uh, for, uh, let me go to settings, so you can see settings as well. So here's your default touch points. You can add new ones. You can add different tribes. For for example, your accounting department, your editing department, your uh, outsourced uh, people, uh, anything like that. Uh, integration wise, once you start ad adding add-ons, you'll see different integrations. And of course, if you pay, your license will be here too. All right, so let's disable that one and then go down to uh, UPI CRM, the Universal WordPress CRM solution. So we're gonna activate that one. You can see the UP CRM showed here and look at all the different options right here. So we're gonna go uh, tab by tab or page by page. And you can see here's where you get, would get all of your stats. And the nice thing is you can export your stats to Excel, which is a really, really nice thing. You can see it's, there's a lot of options. So imagine if all this was filled in, you'd have a lot of good details here. We go to lead management and you can see that you can go ahead and just sort if there was anybody here. Right now there's no leads. It's not counting my own account as a lead, but here you can get a little bit of sorting and, and filtering and things like that to organize and view all of your leads. You have your default fields for date and time and different things like phone number and message and, and all of that stuff. You can add and remove and delete all of it. Email notifications all can be customized as well, which is a beautiful thing. As you can see, this plugin added a lot of default features in before you even pay for any add-ons. So here is a, a new auto lead management, so different uh, routing of things. Uh, so we can go ahead and create a new rule. So if the name contains something, you can assign it to a certain thing. If there's a, a, a phone number or not, you can have it do something or not do something. So there's a lot of uh, automated rules that you can apply easily using this one feature. Lead aggregation, uh, looks like you can uh, do it from remote sites. So if you have multiple sites that you want to all go to one place, you can do that from here. This is probably something a little bit more technical than the average photographer would, would realize. But imagine, for example, you are the Youngrins who own multiple wedding photography businesses. You would put the CRM on, let's say, theyoungrins.com, and then you would have uh, Bauman Photographers, which is one of their others, other uh, companies, would have the integration and all the leads from Bauman Photographers would still be ported to the UPCRM on theyoungrins.com. So that's basically what this would be, basically having leads from another site go to the one specific place. Import and export is where you can do your exporting and importing of your leads. So you can actually import existing leads from, uh, from, a, uh, from a UPI CRM backup. Web services uh, looks like it is, again, sort of like a remote thing. So if you are using a form plugin that does not integrate with UPI CRM, you could actually integrate it automatically. So for example, if you're using uh, something like like Gravity Forms that happens to maybe not, I don't know if they integrate with this yet, but imagine they did not. You can actually uh, pass through the, the leads information in the URL because Gravity Forms allows a uh, URL pass through. So you can sort of automate that to have that go if the plugin doesn't integrate automatically. Here's where you can add different users for uh, different roles as well for the plugin. And I don't see any add-ons right here, but I'd imagine there are add-ons available for UPI CRM. I'd have to look into that further, um, but I don't see it. I'm going to do a quick search while I'm recording and find out. So here is UPI CRM and their website is not that great, but it doesn't look like there's, um, any add-ons, which means that everything that they need is in here. They didn't do any additional add-ons because they're giving you all this other automated things that you can do. So it's pretty smart. It's kind of like an all-in-one solution. So right now, the one that is the most robust without paying is UPI CRM. So keep that in mind. Now let's disable that one. And here is WP CRM from Usability Dynamics. And you can see once I activated it, there's a new thing called CRM. We'll go to all people and you can see it's showing me my account here and we can go and add a new person and it's very basic. You can see here, you can add display name, user company. Um, you can add description, what kind of user they are. 
an instant messenger account for Skype, Google Talk, or AIM. AIM has been discontinued, so they should remove that. Um, and then password settings, color scheme. So basically, you're creating a new WordPress user. They're just giving you a different place to do it. You can view your profile. So again, it's just viewing your own user. It's like going to users and your profile. So there's nothing new there. Um, settings is where you can now manage everything. And it looks like you can even replace the default WordPress user page so you can stop using the users and only use a CRM. If you were, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would want, I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> but you can do a lot of things there. Uh, some UI uh, adjustments you can make. Here's some data, so some um, what fields you want visible and do different things. Here's where you can create a, a form. So they actually want you to use their form and you can create that here. Uh, which is nice thing that they're doing here. You can send messages. I guess this is sending messages or, or messages that are being sent to and from. And let's see what the add-ons are available. Um, there's nothing there. Let's see more products. So it looks like group messages. So you can have multiple users receive uh, a message. So this one looks like it's a very basic one uh, and it's requiring you to use their form. It does look like there are some stats here. Uh, that you can get if you had enough data, but it's a very basic one. I'll deactivate that one. Let's move on to WP CRM system. And you can see here it popped up and we go to the first one. Oh, and we got a calendar view. It's the first one to show a calendar view, which is a nice thing. Uh, let's look at the settings here. You can set up all of your different settings, your, your pricing. So it looks like you'll be able to accept payment maybe through here as well. Um, so this is, yeah. All right. So that's nice. You can do that. You can see your system info is going to show me. Um, yeah. Okay. So you can see your emails. Uh, you can send an email actually to, yeah, I guess if you had more users, you can actually send a message to one of your users in your CRM. You got reports. So if there was data, you'd have all these different reports here. So it looks like there's a lot of, a lot of nice reports for a CRM. That's really good. And then extensions. Here's where it gets interesting because this one has a lot of integrations, client area, uh, less accounting. So it actually integrates with less accounting, MailChimp, invoicing, Slack notifications, Dropbox, Gravity Forms. So there you go. If you use Gravity Forms or Ninja Forms, you can um, get those leads automatically in your CRM. So there's a lot of great add-ons here. Now, this does mean that you have to pay in order to get them. Let's find out how much they're charging for these extensions. Go to just their extensions page. Uh, they're not just showing. Let's say we are doing MailChimp. They're not showing any pricing. Ah, so um, it looks like you can either buy it just per year or a one time. And you you can't just buy one. You have to buy all of them, which is fine. It's either $199 per year or you buy it once at $449. Now that's actually not so bad because if think about it, this think about it as a as an investment. If you want your CRM to be 100 percent WordPress based, you can pay $440 or whatever it was one time and have all of the extensions and all future extensions for life. And you never have to pay again. That is a really nice thing. So I think of it as an investment. If it pays for itself in you know in a short period of time, then it's well worth it. So WP CRM looks like a good candidate for a CRM plugin. So, so far, uh, UPI CRM is the most robust without paying. WP CRM has a good pricing structure for their add-ons. And now the one that is getting the most uh, raves uh, recently in the WordPress community is Zero BS CRM. So I'm really excited to look at this one. Ah, and this is the first one to have a wizard to get set up. So you can name your company. This is my company and you've got pricing. I guess, and my guess is it automatically detected what sort of business I am a freelancer. You can choose your menu style. So you can either have zero BS override, which I would not want it to override slimline or BS and WordPress. So I'm going to do both and go down. Uh, this is to help share some stats so that they want to be able to track what you're doing and give them uh, anonymous, uh, most likely anonymous information. 
I'm going to hit next. And now they're recommending that I uh, get PayPal Sync Pro, um, which they're probably going to be charging. I'm going to open that new tab so we can look at that in a little bit. They have also have an entrepreneur bundle. I'll look at that in a little bit. And here they're giving you a coupon, which is nice for $10. Uh, here we can do, we can enable quotes. So if you want to give quotes, that's a good thing. Uh, if you want to enable invoicing, it is going to recommend, um, they have, no, they, so it does invoices built in, but it has a pro extension for invoicing. And it also has an extension for gravity forms or use their own form. I'm going to turn that on and let's hit next. And no, we don't want to keep up to date. <laughs> All right, so while that's going, I'm going to look at their pricing. Now remember, they give you a $10 coupon for getting started. It looks like uh, you can buy this $49 for each year for this PayPal feature, which is basically syncing your PayPal data to your CRM. So imagine if you were to uh, sell eBooks through WooCommerce using PayPal, all the people who pay through PayPal will actually go to um to your, you know, from your PayPal back to zero BS CRM, or imagine you are uh, selling photos and prints. Anybody who pays with NextGen Pro's PayPal feature, it'll basically wind up in your CRM, which is nice. Now it is saying this is also available in a bundle. Let's see what bundle they're saying it's available in. So they have a launch offer. They have uh, three different bundles that come with uh, top extensions, all extensions, or an reseller all extensions. It looks like the entrepreneurial bundle, which they also recommended, uh, is $199 a year. That's not bad. I wish they did a lifetime because I'd probably hop on that. <laughs> uh, but basically they're giving you access to all extensions, all sync extensions uh, and support. If they did sort of this, which was um, $500 for all extensions, they have a lot of extensions here. It looks like PayPal sync, Gravity Forms, Woo WooCommerce Sync. Um, they have a sales dashboard, mail, uh, mail campaigns, invoicing, a better invoicing system. So they have a bunch of extensions here and I think they're building more. Um, so that's, it's nice to see them that they're doing more. Okay, so let's finish and go back to the settings and, and see what they did here. So here is the, again, they're promoting their launch offer, which is nice. Um, all right, so here we have their settings. You can see they pre-filled in a whole bunch of settings based on the wizard we completed. It's a lot of settings to look through and, and go through, but I'm not gonna go through them all right now. You got your custom fields for, you know, tagging and quotes and things like statuses, uh, sorting options, your front-end forms if you're using their forms, language, so you, I guess you can override, if you don't wanna use quote, you can override that, um, things like that. Quote builder is active right now and showing powered by zero BS. You can uncheck that, which is nice. And then your customization for logos and, and addresses and all that. So let's go back to the main screen and you can see another little wizard. You have a welcome screen with an, they wanna show you, give you a free ebook with another special discount. Um, okay, and then more, it's a lot of promotion of to, for people to buy, which is an interesting thing that they're doing. And it looks like there are, there's a lot of free extensions, which is good. So you can, the customer portal's free, the quote builder's free, so a lot of free extensions, and then there's a handful of paid ones. And this is where if, if, if they had a lifetime, you could buy it and pay for it once, but they don't right now. Um, system status and feedback, we know what that's gonna be like. Now let's go up. Here is zero BS, this must be just a dashboard. Yeah, so this is a dashboard of just what's going on, um, quick access to things. We can go to, let's see, I wanna check out manage customers, let's see what it shows, nothing yet. So if we add a new customer, nice and big, so you can add in uh, what kind of customer it is, all their name, information, and it's not a user account unlike the others. It's actually a custom post type, which is a nice thing. And you got all your customer information there. And you can just save. Okay, so you can also search for customers. I guess you can tag, see what customers need a quote. Um, add and remove tags here. Here are your quotes. Let's see what happens when we add a new quote. Nice, so you can add, it probably searches for the customer's name, title, price, 
date, uh, publish quote. So there's two different uh, templates and there's a quote builder. So you can actually, I guess, customize that uh, for the email. All right, here's the quote templates. Let's look at the one built in. And you can see there's a bunch of different merge tags. So this is a very, very robust, even out of the box and 100% free. This is a very robust uh, CRM plugin. Let's check out the invoices and add a new invoice. Wow. So if, if we added the logo before, it would already be here most likely. I can attach files. Um, and add in your different things for hours and whatnot. Now I do currently do my invoicings through Square, but if I was able to do this on, in, on WordPress, uh, that would actually take one more thing out of, uh, you know, third party tool wise, one more thing out of the equation for just invoicing. However, note that it is adding a lot of tabs to your, to your sidebar, um, in your admin. Here's some transactions so you can see, you know, what people are buying and, and create transactions. So that's really interesting. I imagine if you had PayPal Sync or WooCommerce Sync, this would be automatically completed. And then you have their form, so you can create a new form. Uh, again, they also have Gravity Form Sync, so if you want to do that, you could do that as well. Uh, and data tools. So here you got some bulk data tool tools. So I do want to see, though, one more thing before I finish up with this one, is they did have the option for the menu layout. So let's do slimline only and save settings. And, ah, so now look what it did. It just made it much cleaner. So now you have zero BS and then you have all this in here. Nice. So that is what I would likely do if I was to do this myself, have it all under one, one section, because then I can just go here and see everything I need without having all those extra things in the, uh, you know, showing up. And then the last one I want to show is they could also take over your WordPress backend and do CRM only, go down and save. And now in theory, everything should disappear except, there we go. So all the default WordPress things disappeared. Now, the only reason why I would say this could be beneficial is if you wanted to have a subdomain that to handle your CRM and have everything ported over there from other sites, you could do that and have your CRM part only look like a CRM. Uh, but the average photographer is not gonna do that. If anything, I would recommend using the slimline mode, which just sort of collapsed everything into one, really two menu items, the admin down here and the dashboard up here. And that's what I would do instead of having it all separate. So uh, we have looked at, so I'm gonna disable that just so it's cleaner. Um, not right now. Okay, so we looked at six different CRM plugins each have their strengths and weaknesses. We didn't go into too depth of detail, but we did do a quick overview of them all. Again, my recommendation now after seeing all this would be if you want something extremely robust and you don't mind the price, then go with zero BS CRM. If you want something that is 100% free with no uh, paid add-ons, check out UPI CRM because that was pretty powerful as well. Uh, and it's completely, completely 100% free, very robust for that, but it wasn't the prettiest. And then there is WP CRM was my third recommendation, which is the one that has the lifetime access plan to all their extensions. So you can get a very robust, oh no, was it that one? Yes, WP CRM system, that one, um, that will give you the most robust, um, uh, or yeah, the most for, your money at least, right? So if you want free, UPI CRM is the way to go. If you want paid, it's either pay annually for zero BS, which is my number one recommendation. I just don't like the price or WP CRM system, which you pay once and you're done. So that's my recommendation. Really, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you had an interest in CRMs for WordPress, then hopefully this gives you a little bit of a direction and a preview of what you could do instead of outsourcing it to another company and just keeping it all in-house. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.